So I'm just gonna get in the mix here. Um, that was actually a mistake. We're gonna leave right now. Hello and welcome to Conan Exiles Age of Sorcery. I am Rovernaut and I miss your faces. Thank you for joining me. To get the business out of the way, please like and subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest, greatest stuff and things. So, to get down to business, I have Foxtrot and Ares with me. Uh, I actually have been leveling Ares and... Oh, oh, back to this button. There we go. Abysmal Flesh is actually what he likes the most to build up his strength, which um, if you look... There we go. Uh, he's got a 64% chance here. He's got an 82% chance on vitality. That's why I didn't choose that one. He had a lower on the uh, strength scale. But what is a war dog without a strong bite? So I've been taking it out with Foxtrot and doing some stuff and things and collecting some stuff and things. And as you can tell down here, I got two more skeleton keys. Uh, I've been killing some three-star monsters and beating them up with the axe. As well as getting some more hearts, which, by the way, I can dump. The, uh, now I've learned my lesson. When you go in here, spacebar takes it all. But when you are in your inventory, spacebar drops it all. So I have been randomly clicking in here and then hitting spacebar to just start dropping stuff, and I accidentally take the whole inventory. I cannot tell you how many times I have done that. <laughs> Okay, so we're at 279, and we need the true name of Set. What is it? Oh, it invokes the Avatar. And then the spiritual residue left on religious whatever, blah, blah, blah. Uh, set protection, which should give us the bubble of protection, which I don't know how far that reaches, but we got to check that out too. So we're going to need a thousand zeal. So that means we need a thousand hearts. <laughs> That's crazy. But anyway, uh, I'll actually show you here in the little closet I have plenty of plenty of plenty of these potions so if you're like oh my god why are you throwing them away well that's why <laughs> so uh we do have our friends here all cooked up stuff and things we also got our saber tooth Let's see apollo we don't have apollo we do have an oscar already so unfortunately oscar you gotta go brutus you gotta go brutus and sorry you gotta go and a <laughs> Amazing! We don't even have to do it twice. Oh my god, I'm fat now. Um. Oh my god. <laughs> He's so big. I'll put you right there. Excellent. What are your stats? Ten. Two and two. Okay, okay. I see. I see. Oh, you're at 18 already. I forgot. 16, 13, and then 0, of course, because you're not the greater one, so I haven't been investing any time in you. I apologize, but we're getting our feline frenzies over here, collectibles. Oh, yeah. Apollo. Apollo, Apollo, Apollo. What are we going to do with you, Apollo? Oh, we have a gamma right here. A gamma in need of a dog. Gamma and Apollo. That makes out well, yeah. Apollo. Gammas. Dog. See, I spelt it right. <laughs> All right. So great. We have everybody has their dog. Echo and Delta has a dog. Foxtrot has a dog. India's got a dog. Everyone's got a dog that needs to have a dog. Should I say? Because we all know Charlie doesn't need one. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> but yeah. Fantastic. So next on the agenda. As you can see, we are nicely painted blue today. But uh, yeah. Do, do, do. So we have been collecting different pieces and I can't seem to find a crystalline guardian head. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to use the lightning rod guardian head. Um, just because I want to um, get stuff and things moving here and I really want to see what we're gonna do actually you know what there's also another experiment that I want to do uh, when it comes to the actual guardian golem itself so we can do that one let's craft that up 
Um, crystal. Here we go. Okay, so for the legs, do we want to do tar on the legs? I think we do. So we're going to do both legs in tar. And for the chest, we're also going to do... What is this one? It's a crystalline guardian torso. Is that not the same? Oh, that's the head. Where's the torso? There it is. Brimstone. Brim... What? Oh, God. I don't even know what I'm clicking here. Anyway... <laughs> <laughs> Ignore all that mumbo jumbo. Fantastic. We can take. Oop, we're gonna take our pieces back because we can't do anything with a lightning head, except for put it on. Yes, excellent. It tracks lightning strikes in combat, creates flammable pools of tar, as well as autonomously harvest corpses. This is the part that I want to check out because I have an idea oh that's cool looking look at that the head doesn't really match but that's okay it's about lightning stuff and things let's make it happen well isn't that freaking cool okay buddy what's up man where are you going so his head is hollow still, but he has little, like, antenna things on the back. Which is neat, as well as the antenna thing on the forehead. That's cool. He kind of looks like, um... Mm, almost like a Giver type of thing. Fantastic. What is your stats? Everything is zero. You don't have any, like... Do you, can I see your damage? Oh, right there. 53. Okay, so what was our... What was our damage on the other dude? Do we have a... Let's go over here and check on our other people. You are totally full up. And how are you looking? Oh my god, you're full up too. Uh, yeah. Oh, super fat. Oh my god, what am I doing? Okay. So, uh, let me, um, slowly take this back to where it needs to be. So we're back to our other friend here um, that has the sword. He is a straight-up iron golem. He does 39 damage um, versus 53. Now, there is one thing that um, I do find... Well, by the way, you also get extra inventory spaces. Uh, one of the things that I'm curious about is I do put the advanced weapon damage kit on these weapons before they, I pair them to their arms. And I'm curious to find out if, um, well, if that actually makes a difference or not when it comes to crafting the golem. So I have to check that out at some point in time. Um, you are the only dude that is like behind. Everyone else had at least a thousand of their supplies. What are you doing? Are you over here slacking, sleeping under a tree? You gonna ignore me? Not gonna say anything? Defend yourself? Nothing. You know, I've been running around quite a bit, and everything seems foggy a lot. Like, I'm not sure if it's something that they've changed or something I didn't pay attention to before, but it gets foggy quite often. So, what I'm doing over here is we're trying to figure out how effective... Oh, that's cool. Is it because I don't... Oh, 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 can't move, can't move, can't move. Get it, get it. Okay, slow. Okay, so he puts down a, like a, an oil slick. And our friends are slowed too. Okay, so this might have been a mistake for this. Oh, it's gonna be nighttime. Oh, sweet. Can't see nothing. Jackal, what are you doing? Hey, Jackal, that's our friend. What are you doing? Can you... Really? What is up with this? She's straight up trying to kill this goal. Do you guys see this? <laughs> it's crazy. I don't believe that. So if I tell them to stop.
And then I say everything is okay again. Is she gonna attack the... No. That's super weird. But anyway, one of the things that I wanted to check out... Iron Jug, I'll take it. Spectral Coating, Steel Bars... Yeah, you know, I gotta do that. It's part of the, uh... You know, the whole ritual. Alright. So what I wanna do... Is I wanna stick... You can't okay so you cannot put a heart in there so that's what I was kind of hoping was that you could put a heart in these guys and then they could go and randomly harvest the human hearts for you which I think would be freaking awesome but apparently that's not a thing sad for me I think there was another body up here yes I've been here like a hundred times. Why is it giving me... Oh, game doesn't make sense sometimes. What am I saying? It doesn't make sense a lot. Can I stick this in there, though? Let me let me try this. Let me do that. Let me just put one. And will he go collect the bodies? He will not collect the bodies. Autonomously harvest corpses. Well, if you're harvesting corpses, I'm trying to put stuff in here, like human parts, and you're not getting them. Can you put it in there? You can do that, but you can't do that. Okay. Well, whatever, dude. Uh, apparently, humans are not what you harvest, even though humans have corpses. So, what are you going to do? So, let's try and move on to the next one here. Alright, so, killed a rhino. And let's go ahead and hit that a couple times. A few times, three times, six times. Those times, you know. Now, actually, will you do thick hide? That's what I want. Can you do thick hide? Nice uh, moonwalk. That's. I feel like I'm watching something from Fallout 3 or 4. One of those where you get the little robots that do stuff. Oh, God, why? So what does he harvest? What's that? What? Oh, you're just running. Okay, easy there, chief. You'll run if I run. Okay, so you can pretty much get it all. Once I put stuff in there, you will just go at it. Okay, good to know. There we go. Jackal is back. Starfall is happening. And our guardian golem is here. We have made it back to Sanctuary. This is not Diablo 4, don't worry. <laughs> all right, so... He has collected quite a bit of stuff and things, and that's off of just a handful of rhinos and stuff that we killed on the way over here. So if you have a couple of these guys and you're just doing mass like harvesting of animal parts, this might be a good thing. I actually can see a positive use of that because he'll follow you around. Um, and with all the inventory slots having 15, I can see this stacking up quite well. But I can't say the same goes for when you're harvesting like minerals like stone and silver and gold that kind of stuff i can't necessarily see a golem being good use of that you might as well just take a couple of bears uh, because they have more inventory slots and they also fight back with higher damage levels so uh as far as the guardians of golems and stuffs and animatronic dudes or you know now that i think about it why can't we just have thralls didn't I say this before? I feel like I'm repeating myself. Anyway, golems. <laughs> ha, so it is there. All right, so it's been pretty common. It's pretty, been pretty consistent that the alligator pops up here. Um, there have been two instances though where I've been over here and it didn't show up. However, it consistently likes to provide me with a skeleton key. So I'm just going to get in the mix here. Um, that was actually a mistake. We're going to leave right now because they are not high enough level for this. Uh, mistakes! Mistakes were made! Come on. Just ignore it. It'll be fine. Come on. Nope. 
Nope, 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 nope. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. Okay. So the greater Sabretooth and Ares were not up to the task yet. Ares is level 6 and the greater Sabretooth is 3. I decided to run them out because I wanted to see what kind of damage and, you know, health they were going to have. What kind of impact to combat they would have. I know Ares is set to, I think his Intimidate is turned off. Irritate is turned off because I had him run around with Foxtrot and I wanted her to take the hits instead of him because Foxtrot's a monster. But yeah. They're still crafted. Ah, taking forever. I stuck Enhanced Gruel in there for an experiment just to see because I only made a little bit of it. Because I wanted to see what kind of benefit it had and it literally had no bearing whatsoever. So I open the door and everybody pours outside. That's fancy. <laughs> well, I mean, at least they do their job. That's the point, right? Maggie, you doing okay here? How's Grant doing up there? Grant's doing his thing. I got Barry down at the end of the corridor there. You can see him. Fantastic. Everybody's doing great. So inside the bench here, you can tell I almost have done is the um, a rock nose. I had one more rock nose that was in here, right there. Um, I tossed it in here, and I'm trying to craft up another gold nose, uh, rock nose, pebble nose, whatever they are. The gold rock nose. Is that this one? Yeah, this one's the silver one. So I put them back in here to generate their stuff and things. They're for respective minerals. But the follow-up for the Rock Nose, as well as the other Thralls, is going to have to wait until the next episode. So guys, thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate you every single day. As well as, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest stuff and things. As well as check out our Facebook, Twitter, and Patreon. We do post other videos over there in the Raw. <laughs> Guys, so thank you so much. I really appreciate you, and I hope you have a fantastic day. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye! Oh.